Hey Stampers, it's Gainer again and this is just a quick little video to show you some information, tips and tricks. I know one of my lovely subbies, Karen from the Netherlands, has just mentioned to me in the comment that she's got to buy new marker pens. You don't have to do my lovely. I'll show you a little tip now. I've been testing all my markers. I know they all work fabulous. But there's a couple, this is brand new, but a couple are a little bit dry. And But the other end works fabulous. So I'm going to show you what to do. So grab your ink pad. Open it up. Grab a little, I use my absorber cloth because it's easier to grip. Don't use tweezers, you might knacker them up. Just This one's a bit stiff. It should come now. Oops, this is really stiff, this one. This is brand new, probably. And if I can't get this one out, I'm going to try with my good hand. <laughs> it's coming slowly. Oh, it, it will come out. I don't want to use tweezers, though, because I don't want to break the end. So, I just got the others out fabulous because I've just filled about four of them. Let me try a different colour. I'll do that one later, but I'll show you now on my older markers. I've got Smoky Slate here. And it doesn't write so well. Look, it's patchy. So, there you go. See, that one come out easy. Put it on your ink pad, that way you don't waste any ink. Grab my smoky slate and my ink pad and just run a line down that nib there. And one on the tip. Now, the only thing I do with my tweezers is move this around so it absorbs in. Tap the end up and wipe off the excess as well. If you, my hobby will get those tips out for me. So clean that end. Mind you saying that, I'm going to grab it now. You can put three drops in there, but I think this is sufficient enough. Pop your nib back in. And I'm just resting it so I can push it. I'm just going to... Give that a little wipe. The only reason we do it on the ink pad is so that you don't waste any of your ink. And then you should have your pen working again like new. How's that? Don't go buying pens when you've got ink, ink pads and reinkers. So there's the smoky slate. My Sahara Sand is doing the same. I'm going to try that purple one again in a minute. So open up your ink pad. Get your fingers in it. Grab my cloth. This one isn't doing so good either. Oh, it would help. It's the smoky slate one. <laughs> but get the right pen though, Gainer. <laughs> so... This one is, re is patchy, doesn't want to play very well, so again, if you can see, one, one come out fabulous, it's just I can't grip, my hands are terrible today, really terrible, you couldn't, grab them with your fingers as well, you should be able to, oh, let me try my cloth, watch me not be able to get this one out as well. Hands are terrible today. There we go. See, the ink is dried up on the, the stem. So again, you can add drops. I'll show you now. You can literally, whilst that, let me just pop that in the centre. One drop, that's all it takes to fill that nib. And one drop on the end. 
I'm not squeezing anymore, I'm just moving it around. And then you can add one, two, I wouldn't go any more than three. So pick up your nib, which is fully loaded. You can see that it's all wet now. I'm just pushing it. I'm using the tweezer just to push down. Give that a little clean. And what you do then, I just... It helps to suck it all back into the ink pad. And you don't you lose your ink that way. So you're re-inking your ink pad at the same time. So now we've got... Oh, look at that. It's so much better. There you go, stamp with joy. And it wasn't playing up very well. So I'm gonna try one more time with the Highland Heather. Just going to, this one isn't working at all. Look at that. There we go. I should have opened my ink first. I got it out. So that's saying if you've got look see that's quite dry so highland heather your inker it's cheap to buy the inker just one drop and and one on the tip and because it's all go juicy around the top I'm just gonna smear that on there so it doesn't get wasted Grab my tweezers again and just move it round. Put the nib back in. I'm not going to fill this one because it's new and it's probably just been the way it's been stored, you know, when the packaging. So wipe off the excess in there or on your cloth. And then they will start it. You'll be able to use these by morning and they'll be really juiced back up. So I might take that out actually and just pop, pop three drops inside as well. For some reason, this isn't. You've got to give chance the ink chance to absorb into the nib. So I try it again tomorrow morning, and if it's still the same, I will, because look, my nib pen is, and you can do the same with the nib, but don't use tweezers because you'll break them. Use your fingers. They just slide out. You fill this in here, three drops. Don't worry about your fingers, it comes off. And again, put it on your ink pad. I'm just going to juice this up a little bit more. And I'm going to add three drops. One, two, three, and then just juice this pen back up. Just a couple of drops. You don't need to use a lot. Rub it round, and I'm only putting there in there, and I'm going to use my fingers to put it back in. Don't worry about the ink. It does come off. I'll show you a tip as well to get that off. So this is lovely and juicy now. Look at that. Making sure it's all the way in, which it is. Oh, it's lovely and juicy now. Ooh. But don't get rid of your pens. Don't throw them away and store them flat. But I've been told you can store them anyway. It doesn't really make any odds. So, two seconds I'll be and I'll show you how to get this alcohol off. The ink off your fingers. I don't know if you all keep this in the house. I do because I'm a stickler for clean hands. Instant hand cleaner. It's the alcoholic gel. No need for soap and water, it says. And it's 
great for inky fingers. So, I just rub it through my fingers. And because your alcohol, mar alcohol markers are ink, alcohol based, it comes right off. See it thinning and out? Let me just give that a wipe. And I will do it again. I swear by this stuff. It gets ink off here, except for black. The only one it doesn't get off is black. But it does get your ink off your fingers. So just, just grab some, rub it between your fingers. A little bit of hot soapy water then, and it's gone. Look at that, gosh. But that's how you re-ink your marker pens. Isn't that fabulous? Great stuff. So, cheap, I think Home and Bargain sell this huge bottle for 99 pence. But uh, yeah, it, it will get the stains off your fingers. You just keep going and going and going. And another one is my soft sea foam. This one isn't working too good either, look. It's like non-existent, hardly. The, the nib, uh, the paint brush end is perfect. So one more to go. It's coming slowly. Oops. Come on. There we go. A little twist, and it was off. So open up your ink. Just rest it on there. I'm going to pop a bit inside as well. One, two, three. Just one drop on the nib and just move it around. And one little drop on the end. Now this is fully inked up. Push it back in. So simple. But it just saves you going out and buy because you can only buy the markers in sets of two if they're on offer. So I'm just juicing that back. You could just juice it up by sticking it in there and leaving it for overnight, but you run the risk then of drying out your ink pads as well. So let's give that a little wipe and we now have a slightly darker pen but by morning that nib will have soaked it all in. Marvellous. So I've just re-inked four pens in front of you. Where's my purple one gone? <laughs> I've oh I've put it back. <laughs> uh, I need that out actually for project I'm doing later. So yeah, do it over your ink pad, that way you don't you lose any ink. It just gets absorbed into your pad. And that is it. And just keep going with the alcohol mark. Oh, let me do show you. It does lift off paint off here as well. Now, I've just used that. And all I do is just I'm using this as a scrap piece of, just rub it in and give it a couple of minutes, take it over to your sink then and rinse it out and that colour, look, is going. Just give it a rub. So if you want a cleaner cloth, I know everyone's not bothered about the absorbers getting dirty, but I hate it. <laughs> so let me just put a little blob more on there. hate it, hate it the fact that my absorber gets really dirty, the only thing it won't come off is the black but the pink will the purple will just keep, just give it a little rub with your finger, I'm not doing anything strenuous leave it in the sink, put loads on it overnight in the sink and you'll go back and you'll only have the black that's in there so, yep 
so that's a tip to cleaning your cloth as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it is a shame when we've got to throw things away when we've got the tools to actually reload them all up ourselves. So let's test, test this one again. That's coming better. It's still a little bit, but I'm going to give that till morning. I'm going to actually put some ink in the nib of this one. So let me see if I can pull it. Let's open this. This should come out a lot easier this time. She says. There you go. Look, it's starting to uh, sink in. Just going to load that up a bit more. And I'm just going to add one, two, three in there. Whoops! <laughs> I got a little bit of ink now all over my desk. There we go. You see that flick then? Let me just get my little cloth on there because it gets. I got a, a protector on my desk, thankfully, because of ink. So I'm just wiping off the excess around the outside of the nib. That's better. They are only the little like journaling tips when you think about it. But uh, yeah, you can ink them back up. There we go, it's starting to come good. Look at that. There we go, so don't throw them away. Just juice them back up yourself. And you won't waste any ink because it's just going straight on your ink pad anyway. So there you have it. Just a quick tip on how to fill your marker pens and not have to worry about buying new ones. So thanks for watching. Oh, and if you liked, a thumbs up would be great. A share and look at the state of my paper now. There's all my tests. <laughs> If you want to subscribe, you can press the button here. And I'll try and get some more handy tips on for you as well, for other things as well. I have to clean your, I've done the cleaning up your trimmer, and that is so super simple. And all you need for that is some WD-40. But uh, I will try and think of a few other tricks and, tricks and tips for you. So now I've got every, and I like don't throw anything away. So we've got, I've got all my colours. And I've got all the retiring colours as well. So these are my essential neutrals. And these are my subtles. This is we've got neutrals, regals, subtles, brights, in colours and retired stock. And if you want to know how to make this box, pop over to see Poodle. She made this one. I just extend. She made it one, two, three, four, five. I just extended... She made this one and I extended the two out ones to cope with my other pens. So there we have it. I'm going to tiddle off and go do some projects for you all. And I'll see you soon. Bye.